What up, Scorpio? Here is going to be your July 2019 reading. Some of y'all are in my inbox threatening to cut me. Now, y'all do realize if you come at an air sign with a dagger or a stinger, you realize we have swords, right? Well, I have a few machetes. So if you're going to threaten to cut me, you better come to the fight with something bigger than the stinger. Or you might get your feelings hurt, Scorpio. Some of y'all are like, come on, get these readings out. And I'm like, they're coming, they're coming. So Scorpio, here you go for July 2019. Y'all are killing me with these messages. Like, where you at, girl? Have you been abduct abducted by aliens? Are you in love? I'm getting all kinds of crazy messages from Scorpio. So we're going to go ahead and get your readings done, Scorpio. 2019 July. What is going on for those Scorpions, spirit? Any messages, any guidance for Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? Some of y'all are dealing with a situation where you could be pulled into different directions. Now, it looks like for some of you, you could be trying to decide between school, work. Some of you may be, may be struggling with having to um, come up with extra money for education, or either you may just be trying to go to school as a full-time student and work a part-time job. I feel for some of you, though, you may be struggling with that. Some of you may be trying to either work a, a two jobs. But I feel like there is some opportunity that could be coming in and you're trying to work it into your schedule. And this could be another job, a money making opportunity, or some of you literally may be trying to come out of school or finish up some type of program. And then somebody wants you to start a job and some of you are kind of conflicted. You could be trying to balance it in your schedule. Now, I do see you have some opportunities that are going to be coming in quick. For some of you, I feel like there could be some procrastination where you want to think about it. You know, let me see if this will work for me. I feel like some of you may be trying to work around a schedule or you may be trying to work around school, work, family. And you may have a company or a job situation or an opportunity that may be pushing you a little bit too fast or trying to make you get you to make a decision faster than what you want. Some of you definitely work. watch out for Mercury retrograde because it definitely shows that if you are in a relationship or if you are single, some of you have somebody from the past who's coming back in fast. This could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Let's see. For some of you, I definitely feel like it may be more air. Here's the thing. If it is an air sign, then don't get caught up on the sign. Let's just go with air characteristics. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's very bold, very, um, we're loud. We tend to be loud. We're very direct. Sometimes we say things without thinking clearly. So you could have somebody who kind of, they're very like in your face, very direct, could be overly honest with you. But I feel like for some of you, you're going to reconnect with somebody who has that type of energy. Now, for some of you, you're looking forward to this. Either you waited for this person to come back. There could be some um, some things that still need to be worked out within this relationship. But for some of you, you literally are happy that this person is coming back in. For some, I'm not going to say for all. Some Scorpios, I feel like you don't want to look back towards the past. And even if this person reaches out, you may be like, I want to close the door. I don't want to move forward. For some of you, this could be multiple people reaching out. I feel like some of you, you got like a little fan club and Mercury might be bringing people back out. I think Mercury goes in retrograde. What started, I feel like a week ago because of miscommunication. But for some of you, I think, what is it? Is it today? The seventh? I don't even know what today is. Let me check my phone real quick. Yeah, I think it went retrograde officially today. I could be wrong, but I feel like it did. Some of you, I feel like you've been working really hard. You don't feel like the money is there. Some of you maybe even want to try to take a vacation or take a trip and you feel like your money is lacking. For some of you, this could be the reason why you're picking up an extra job or you're picking up some type of extra work because you're trying to get your money together. And I feel for some of you, you're overworking yourself and you're, you're having issues where you're not resting, you're stressing out. And it could be some of you are having a hard time paying your rent. Some of you just could even be trying to get money together to move. And that could be why you're pushing yourself, Scorpio. But I just feel like some of y'all are really exhausted or tired and you're trying to make something happen. 
this could even be and this may be for a few of you dealing with a roommate or somebody who is not paying their part of the rent and it's forcing you to either come up with more money or it's stressing you out some of you may be even debating on moving away from a situation where you're sharing some type of residence with somebody because of that scorpio 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 let's get into it okay so we have eight of swords we have the justice card we have the empress ah we have three of cups somebody's bait somebody's pregnant baby shower celebrations we have two of wands this could even be getting married or remarried nine of pentacles we have king of fire we have seven of cups we have the king of air we have the chariot we have page of air we have queen of cups we have eight of pentacles let's see four of cups uh-oh. Five of wands. Ten of pentacles. Ooh, page of fire. Ooh, page of pentacles. And the unity card. Let's see. The lovers. So I got to pull one more on the lovers. Five of swords. A decision. Oh, that six of cups. Somebody coming from the back. From the past. All right so some of you we have eight of swords some of you with the justice card could be dealing with a legal situation um you may have some concerns about it you could be stressed about it maybe there's something that you need to do in a legal situation but you're afraid to take action for some of you this could even get in, be getting some news in a legal situation that makes you feel stuck some of you this could be you owing something with money financially I feel for some of you, you may be going to court and you may be getting some bad news. Let's clarify that. Won't be for everybody, but for some of you, Spirit, just to clarify this justice card for me. Some of you, I feel like there is either something to do with child support. For some of you, you may want to move and you may be dealing with a person who is not signing off on paperwork to let you move with a child. Or some of you may be feeling like you're stuck in some type of living arrangement. Maybe you are stuck in some type of contract. Maybe you're trying to go to court with somebody to come out of a contract, but you feel like you're stuck with this. Let's see. Okay. Oh, good. We got the pregnancy card in this too. Some of you... Because I am getting that there is some type of misunderstanding. Could be Mercury retrograde, where this could be with a roommate situation. This could even be financially. For some of you, I definitely feel like if you are dealing with something where you're going against somebody, and it looks like you could literally be going against a roommate. This could even be a partnership. Whatever it is, it's showing that there initially is going to be good news with this. But some of you are scared. You could be going to court and try to get this glare off. Some of you could be going to court and you could be afraid of the outcome in a court case. But spirit is saying that you're going to get something that goes your way. You may have to take some action or you may have to do something that you feel uncomfortable with. But for some of you, this will put you in a better situation. I do see with the Empress card, some of you definitely are going to be celebrating pregnancy. So congratulations. We got three of cups. We have some type of party, baby shower, probably. This could even be a birth announcement. But I do see celebrations coming through. For some of you, you may find out that if you are in some type of custody situation, that you're going to get your child back or there's some positive news that comes back with a custody situation now it won't apply to everybody but if you are going through something like that spirit is saying that there is some positive outcome you may have had to clean up your area or do some different changes in your life but it looks like there's something that could be coming through if your children were taken away from you will not apply to everybody but i hope it connects to whoever it's supposed to now, I definitely feel like there is some positive news coming in about a partnership. Could be pregnancy. 
Some of you could be sharing good news about a baby um, coming into your life. For some of you, if you're not of an age to have a baby or you're a male, this literally could be sharing some type of good news about a business partnership. For some of you, if you are in a relationship, this is still good news coming in that may affect your partnership. So for some of you, if you're not pregnant, you could be starting a new business with someone giving birth to new ideas and there's celebrations, there's grand openings or there's parties celebrating something that is coming in for a partnership. Now, for some of you, I do feel like if you're branching away or you're pulling away from a business, say corporate America or something, some of you may even be connecting with somebody and starting your own business with them. This could be a grand opening. This could be a celebration, Scorpio. So some of you might be walking away from a nine to five job to do this. Some of you, I feel like there was job loss that may have prompted this. But for some of you, I felt like there could be a pull between two things. You may be deciding to partner up with somebody to start your own business, but you may also be working somewhere else. Some of you may be pulled in two different directions financially, but it is showing that there's celebrations that are coming in and it could have to do with partnering up with somebody entrepreneurship is always my nine of cups card and this is somebody being independent going on their own but with the partnership card i feel like for some of you this is business going into business with somebody i feel like if you are and page of swords is underneath that please make sure if this is a friendship or family members that you still do some type of contract you know put something on paper verbal is is cool Shaking your sister's hand is cool until money starts to roll in. And then you're like, okay, you know, you're taking more money than what I thought you were going to take. Or the person feels like more money should have been paid to them. There could be some disagreements or some challenges with this. So make sure if you are dealing with somebody in a business sense that you go ahead and you sign paperwork because some of you may end up having some issue or arguments about money that come in especially if there's nothing put in place saying what we're doing with the money, where the money is going or how it's going to be divided. So if you don't want the conflict when it comes to money, some of you really need to go ahead and make sure that you put something on paper. For some of you, make sure that you don't procrastinate because it may bring you to conflict. You may not see challenges at the beginning, but it may bring you to conflict, Scorpio. Now, for some of you, I feel like you could be dealing with a decision between an air sign and a fire sign. I also feel earth though, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For some of you, there may be a decision that's coming in between a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Some of you may be in a relationship with this person and then you get a call from somebody from your past could be either one of these people, but I feel for some of you, you could have somebody from the past that comes back in and threatens a, the stability of a relationship or a, a partnership. Won't apply to everybody. If you're single, this literally could just be somebody coming back into your life. I feel for some of you though, if you do have somebody coming back into your life with the five of swords, there could be some conflict and it could be because of a decision between two people. Some of you may be trying to figure out what you want and this person could come back in and confuse you. So I feel like if there is a decision, take your time with it. Take your time with it. I feel for some of you, you may have something where you felt like you had a partnership or something was moving forward. Some of you may have even gotten engaged or made some type of commitment to somebody. And then here we have this person from the past who's coming back in and we have five of swords. And then we have five of wands and then we have page of air. So some of you could be going, dealing with a conflict, <sighs> not some, but it looks like some people definitely are going to have to deal with communication that may be misunderstood, Mercury retrograde, or this could be trying to keep something from somebody from the past. Whether you're with somebody, maybe they come back in, they think you're single and it's like, well, I'm kind of single, or you could be with somebody in the present and somebody from the past comes back and you're not kind of dividing or putting boundaries within your relationship. For some of you, you may literally be discontent with a relationship and then this person comes back in 
and that causes you to want to make a decision. You could be with somebody that's not really doing it for you. Now, this could be somebody doing this to you, Scorpio. It's a general read. It could go back and forth, but I feel for some of you that there definitely is either some type of competition coming into a relationship. Could be a third party situation, but I feel like somebody could be bored and kind of putting themselves out there. You may start talking to somebody from your past. We're just friends or whatever. And then next thing you know, there's a decision that needs to be made. Scorpio, 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 July, Scorpio, Scorpio, July. Let's see. Yeah, some of you may have too many options, Scorpio. You may have too many options. I feel for some of you that there's going to be talks of marriage and there could be an engagement that comes through. Some of you are talking about partnership. There could be celebrations about this. But some of you may be challenged with this energy because maybe somebody is coming back in or somebody is trying to get your attention. It may confuse you. This could be you doing this to them, but I feel for some of you, there's definitely some talks about moving something to the next level and then something comes in because we have conflict. We have conflict. And it's showing this is you being conflicted. We have a water sign person who's conflicted about which way that they want to go. And there's unexpected trouble and it could be conflict coming in because there's more than one person. Maybe something started off as a friendship and you realize you developed some feelings for somebody or this could be a friend telling you that they have feelings for you and now you're conflicted because maybe you are already in a relationship. Oh, Lord, three of spades. I knew it was coming. Cheating. Love triangle. Some of you are going to find yourself in this. Unfortunately, for some of you, it's going to stress you out. It's going to put you in a situation where there's anxiety and there's fears. You could be having to make a decision and you don't want to make. It's almost like you felt like you had stability with this 10 of cups. And then somebody comes in and it's like, I, I love you. I still love you. I thought, you know, it was over, but it's not over. And then you're like, what the fuck? You know, I'm moving on. I just got with somebody. I just got engaged. You might even be telling this person I'm pregnant. You know, we're going to have a baby. And this person may be coming back in with love messages. I still love you. I definitely feel there's some confusion that is going to be coming into love for some of you. I do also feel that some of you, there's a move that's coming in. And I feel for a lot of you, you could be trying to do this before school starts. It is that time of the month where people are trying to move in the summertime because if you have children, you're trying to get them situated in school. But I feel like there is a move that's coming in Scorpio, maybe moving from one house where you're a roommate with somebody or you cohabitated with somebody and you're moving back in or moving in with somebody from the past. Some of you, this could open up a door to something that you thought was closed and you're realizing that it's really not. I also see that if you're dealing with a job situation and you put your resume out there, we do have page of pinnacles coming in and this is good news. This could be a new job coming in. There's also using your skills. Some of you might be graduating from school, finishing up your school. You could have some internship or you just may be putting out, what is it, the job fairs where you're going and interviewing with a lot of people and you're using your skill set to get a job. And it's showing for a lot of you that this is good. This is bringing in some, some good money. So for some of you where there was maybe a lack of money or fears because you weren't having enough coming in, some of you are going to get a message and get an offer from a job that is more than enough. And there's some, some celebrations that are coming from this Scorpio. So there are good news coming in about money. And I see a lot of you with the 10 of diamonds success. This could be business success. If you're trying to start something in a partnership with a, a business, a lot of you watch your budget, watch your budget at first. Don't buy too much with inventory. Don't put too much out there. But if you're trying to start something up, take your time. But it is showing that a lot of you are moving towards success. we got 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Diamonds. This is somebody who has the potential to be really, really successful. They're using their skill set. They're using their knowledge. So either you went to school for this or this is some type of talent that you have. But whatever it is, you're making money off of it. And there's good news coming in and opportunities that are coming in off of this. So for a lot of you, literally, if you have been having problems with money, you're moving to a better 
space or a better energy when it comes to your finances. For some of you, we definitely have the move coming in. It could be the result of a breakup. Like I said, some of you may be walking away from one person to go be with somebody else, or this person could be walking away from you. We got a three of spades. So there is some confusion when it comes to love, but it looks like for some of you, you're going to have some clarity and it could have been a one-sided relationship. Some of you could have been where there's discontentment and boredom could have been dealing with somebody who wasn't either making you happy or somebody might be coming to you and saying, you know what? I'm not happy anymore with this relationship. I'm moving on. But they may not be telling you that there's a third party, that there's somebody else could be causing a breakup because somebody is feeling like they're not moving forward. One sided relationship is somebody putting in energy, but they're not getting anything back. And then we got to move. So if you are living with somebody, some of you may be coming to an end of that line that, that, you know, I'm not happy. You're not happy. Let's move on. I do see obstacles with it. For some of you, you may be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to let you go. Some of you, this roommate could be trying to cause more problems or give you more headache. And that's why you're having the obstacles. I feel for some of you, you just kind of want to find peace in a situation. If you've been dealing with somebody who's been hostile, whether this is a roommate or a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever, some of you just want to find peace in a situation. You could be procrastinating, making a move towards this. But for some of you, you're not happy and you're procrastinating moving forward. And some of you just want to be in a place where you feel more balanced. You feel more with, connected with people, your soul family. So you could literally be walking away from situations where there's just this, uh, I, I can't even, I'm trying to put the, the I, I just feel like this is heaviness, heaviness. I just keep hearing, I'm not happy. I'm not happy anymore. Some of you definitely have big life change coming in and it could be what causes this fear of action. Some of you literally may be scared to make a decision with the eight of swords and then the seven of cups. You could be overthinking situations, trying to get your mind around certain things. Maybe, you know, you need to take action, but you're scared. There's some fears. Some of you definitely are like, I'm not happy where I'm at and, if you see this unicorn is busting out. I want to be with more like-minded people. Or I want to be in a situation where I feel balanced. For some of you, this could even be a job situation. I do see Scorpios this month. A lot of you are being workaholics and it's because either you're trying to get a new home or you just feel like you need to bring your finances up. Some of you just basically have the opportunity where there's money coming in. You got a new job. You got messages, text messages, emails. You know, we we got your resume. We got whatever your skill set is, and it's showing us that you're right for this job. So we're going to open this door up for you, and you're going to realize that they're offering you more than what you thought. So for some of you, definitely money increases. Be careful with this person coming back after this money increases, though, Scorpio. Some of you may be getting somebody that's coming back from the past. I don't know why. I feel deception on this won't apply to everybody, but some of you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, now that your bank account is a little bit better, they want to pop back in. Remember me, let's make this partnership. Let's get things back on track. And for some of you, it's because they know you have money coming in. Mm -mm -mm. Dirty dog, dirty dog. Some of you be, you got to be careful because there could be some emotional pain that comes out of this. Could be disappointed by somebody because they want money, or you could be disappointed with somebody because they have options in love. They got way too many people. They may not be telling you the truth, Scorpio. This could also be you doing this to somebody else. General read, but I feel for some of you, there's definitely people coming back together from the past that are not offering you everything that you want. Before you walk away from somebody, make sure that you're happy with what you're going into. I feel for some of you, there's just some type of deception going in. Not everybody. Some of you actually are going to make a really good connection, and it's a soulmate connection. Could be with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. 
I do feel air though. And I feel like it's kind of split. I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody that you're bored to death with and you're moving towards something that's more exciting. Somebody that's a little bit more direct, more, they know what they want. And for some of you, this is going to be your connection. This is your soulmate connection. Now, we know that with soulmates, we have hundreds of soulmates. Not all of them are romantic. But for some of you, you're connecting with somebody that really makes you feel good. The conversation is good. It, they bring out certain things in you. There's spiritual growth for some of you that are coming through this. This person elevates you. Your meditation gets deeper. You look at the world differently through with this person because of the energy that they're bringing in. So for some of you, if you're single, you literally could be connecting with somebody that elevates you, that really brings you to that next level. Spiritually, you grow with this person. They open you up. So I feel for some of you, you definitely are making a hell of a connection. Not everybody's coming out of this third party situation, but some people are where they're going to meet this energy and they're going to feel like you're my person. You inspire me. You motivate me. I need to be with you. I'm going to walk away from the situation. For some of you, this could be a fire sign or somebody telling you this. You know, I've connected with somebody else. They motivate me. They give me something that I need because I get emotional hurt. Somebody's going to get that speech. Oh, it's not you. It's me. But it's because they want to move on. They've been bored. They've been discontent. And they want something that's going to make them feel alive. So for Scorpio, some of you may be dealing with a situation. Yeah, where you're moving forward. The chariot card. Some of you are not looking back. So you may have somebody come back from the past where you're like, okay, I know you're just playing me. But I'm connected to somebody that I already feel is a soulmate connection. For some of you, this could be the person from the past. Where it's like, shit, you know, I feel connected to you. The chariot card definitely shows moving forward. Some of you, I feel like there could even be a pregnancy that comes out of it. And there may be deciding factor on you making a decision. Some of you may be moving forward with a fire sign because you're pregnant. For some of you, this could even be getting a rare car if you're looking for a car could be getting your little sports car, a little red sports car. But for some of you, I feel like you could be walking away from somebody that was dull and boring. And I hate to say that, but they just didn't give you life. And you're moving towards somebody that's exciting. And you may be starting a new beginning with this person. Some of you may have had a pop-up baby with this person. And that's why you're deciding to move forward. Interesting, Scorpio. I do feel like there is some type of offer of love that's coming in. And some of you, it's something that you've been waiting for. This two of cups coming through. Some of you may have got the soulmate. He comes through and then you find out you're pregnant and you're like, this is it. This is it. The celebration. We got good news. We're getting married. We're having a baby or we're having a baby. We're getting married or we're just moving in together and we're having a baby with the person that you connect to. Some of you definitely are going to make a very strong connection to somebody. And it's going to be good. And it may cause you to walk away from something that has been really wearing you down, something that you've been bored to death with. And you just need something new coming into your life. I definitely see money, job opportunities. Ten of Pentacles is showing this is a good opportunity. For some of you, you literally may be coming into a good phase in your life where things are starting to fall into place with you, Scorpio. And that's good. It's good. Some of you are moving. Here's the thing. I just feel like the energy, Scorpio, is some, it's like you're, you're walking away from something that was just like choking you, holding you hostage, whether this was a relationship or a job. Feel for a lot of you, though, it's just somebody, people you're dealing with. I don't vibe with you anymore. So I'm moving towards something. The chariot card is opening me up. The empress card is I'm giving birth to a new idea, maybe even a new way of life. Big changes are coming in. But you're moving towards something that makes you happier. The empress is happy. She's giving birth to something, whether it's a she or a he. This is your ideal. This is something that makes you feel good. For some of you, definitely a new job. If you're a male and you're not having, uh, I'm not going to say you can't get pregnant, you can get somebody pregnant. Some of you may be 
getting news that not only did you get the good job, but also your person is pregnant. So for some of you, for a woman, you may get promoted and find out, well, not only that, but I'm pregnant. Whatever it is, it's giving birth to something that means something substantial to you that really makes you feel good, breaks you out of a rut, life change for you. And it gives you more stability. With the Ten of Diamonds and then we had Ten of Cups, definitely finding something that makes you feel more stable, Scorpio. So if you've been having money problems, some of you are definitely coming out of it because you got good news coming in. And then Ten of Cups is showing that it's really good news. Really good news. Where is it at? I love Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Well, I should say Ten of Cups too, but I love Ten of Pentacles more. That's horrible to say, but it's true. So for some of you, you really have a great freaking opportunity coming in. It's too good to pass up, Scorpio. Keep your eyes and your ears open. For some of you, you literally, this is good. This is good news. Then we got pregnancy. We got giving birth, connecting with like-minded people. Some of you may find the right job where you really are working with people that get you or you're passionate about something that you're doing, and that's why the money is coming in. Some of you could be starting your own business that brings in money, doing something that you're passionate about. I do see conflicts where people may be making you doubt yourself. They could be questioning, why do you want to move forward? Why do you want to do this? If it makes you happy, Scorpio, you got to go. Chariot card is saying move forward. If they don't understand why you're trying to move forward, then maybe it's not for them to understand. But for a lot of you, you're coming out of an energy where you felt bored, discontent, walking away from things and maybe moving towards something that is really vibrant, passionate for you. And it makes you feel better. And if it makes you feel better, shit, do it, Scorpio. Don't let people talk you out of it. Don't let people get into your head, especially if you're coming out of that eight of swords energy where you're scared and you're, you feel stuck. Come out of it, especially with these opportunities coming. Some of y'all might miss it if you don't get out there and really open your eyes and open your ears. Take advantage of things that are happening around you see things and maybe you know you're at the right place at the right time when it happens take advantage of the opportunity all right you guys i just feel like scorpio don't miss it i love you guys Mwah.